Hi, I'm Chef Casey from Harmon's Cooking School. Today in front of me, I have a beautifully prepared a con smoked turkey from Diesel Farms. I'm gonna teach you how to carve this today. I have two knives to help out with this process. One is our boning knife. Then we've got our classic chef's knife. This one is gonna be really helpful for, you know, some of the harder cuts we are gonna have to make and slicing the breasts up at the end. So we've got both here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in and start just, you know, the skin is kind of thin here, so I'm just gonna break this apart. I wanna be able to get in and just kind of see, you can almost see right here where the, it's literally just separating itself. The skin is just a little bit in there. Now, what I wanna do is I am trying to find a joint down here, and you can see that joint right here. That's where I'm gonna switch to my chef's knife. I'm gonna come in and just, you know, cut right in there. I do wanna be careful because there's a beautiful prized piece of meat under here, it's called the oyster. You do wanna remove it. You can either, you know, pry it out this way ahead of time, or you could just come in and kind of start slicing right under there. But once this is separated here, you just kind of take that and you've got your leg right there. I'm gonna set that aside. So when I was talking about that oyster though, this is that part. Now the oyster, I don't know why they call it the oyster, honestly, but the oyster is the most tender part of the bird. Turkeys and chickens have those. If it was me, honestly, that would be what I would save, set aside for myself, for my dinner. And, <laughs> um, you know, little chef, chef, chef snack. All right, I'm gonna go in now, and we're gonna take off our wings. Kind of open that up a little bit, make my cuts, make it to where I can really see where that joint is. Come in around on the other side. Now from here, our breasts. There is a breast bone running down the center here. You want to take your knife. We're gonna kinda get in there and we wanna feel where the bone is so we know where we're gonna cut. So I can kinda feel right here that I'm on this side of the bone. So I am gonna come in and I'm just gonna kinda make a cut and I'm gonna kinda follow, follow the shape of that bone. It kinda comes in, it curves down just a little bit. And this is where your boning knife is gonna be a lot easier because you don't have quite as large of a blade. And the goal here is to get, so you can see this part is a bone here. So I'm gonna, I wanna leave that. And then just finish that cut. So you have your beautiful meat right there. So this part of the turkey is great to use for stocks and soups. You'll get, the meat will come off, right off. If you have any leftover meat, you can always add that into your soup as well. But this is beautiful for that. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'll come back and start carving the rest of this. All right, so first thing I'm gonna start with is our leg here. We've got our thigh and then our drumstick here. Essentially, there's another joint going right in here. So I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna make one cut and I can feel that joint right in there. So just kinda stretch that out a little bit. Now, for your wings, how you wanna do these. First, there's not a crazy amount of meat on this last little wing, this last part. So that, oftentimes they even just come apart uh, as you do it, you don't even need a knife. But those, I would save, use that in the stock, get some of the meat and the flavor out of there, but you're not gonna get a ton. Here, again, you could either serve this whole if you wanted to, but these are great, kind of a great little piece for, you know, if you have any kids or anything like that, or people that aren't really big eaters. But again, I make one little cut down here, find that joint, and then just cut right in between there. So you've kind of got, you know, your two little wing pieces. Keep those there. Then 
For the breast, how I would do this is I like to come in and I like to slice a little bit on a bias. You do have the muscle structure moving this way, so we do like to come across that. So cutting across the muscle structure, the muscle grain, and I come about every half inch or so, but I make these bias cuts. One of the big reasons I make this cut, so if you're serving this and you've got, you've got that kind of like shingled piece, you can really see that beautiful uh, skin on there. So that's one of the reasons I like to shingle them just like this. But yeah. Now for, we're almost ready. So for your sides, we do also with our kitchen department have a bunch of sides to go with this. We've got your cranberry sauce, we've got your mashed potatoes. Um, one of my favorite things, the stuffing we have, it's so delicious. So you can pair that with it. You can use some of that even as like decoration or garnish on the turkey platter itself. Whole cranberries are good, some herbs in there. Get to, you know, a few parsley sprigs or rosemary sprigs in there. You have a lot of options when it comes to that. All right, now that I have that all ready to go, I'm gonna serve this. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please drop them below and we will answer them. And I hope you have a great holiday with all your family and your friends.